What's going on YouTube is Way, Playmaker Way, Way with the playbook, and y'all read the title. Let's get straight into this video. But before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, I got a free signal room. First link in the description, I call three to five signals out daily from currency pairs, futures, indices, metals, all the above. If I see opportunity, I'm calling it out. So on the right side of the screen, while this video is running, you're going to be seeing some of the results and some of the plays I called you know, in the past, from this week, last week, and etc. So if you do not know what pips are, you should not be trading Forex at all because you're, you're, you're lacking knowledge for one of the most important things you need to know when it comes to trading. Because if you don't know what pips are and you don't know how to count pips, you're not going to be able to properly calculate your lot size and also know how much you're potentially risking and how much you're potentially going to gain, okay? So you see I'm on the MT4 app, okay? You see I'm on simple mode. You do not want to be on simple. You want to switch to advanced, okay? So you see how advanced, how there's numbers bolded. Look, look at simple and now look at advanced. You see how the numbers are bold with advanced? So those bold numbers are how you count the pips, okay? So let's just go, let's do Euro JPY. So 136.45, you don't count that seven. So 136.45, 45 is what you would count. Okay, so let's say I want to go for a buy. So if it goes to 136.46, that means I am up one pip. If it goes down to 136.44, that means I am down a pip. If it goes to 136.55, that means I'm up 10 pips. If it goes one, if it goes down to 136. 35 that means i am down 10 pips okay so that's how you count pips and as you know for your lot size whatever your lot size is that's how much you're going to gain or lose per pip so you have a 0 0.01 lot size that means you're risking 10 cents per pip okay a 0.1 that's a dollar per pip a standard lot size of 1.00 that's 10 dollars per pip a 10 lot size that is a hundred dollars per pip and obviously if you change the number to two three all the way to nine it just changes that but that's how that's how you calculate your lot size and that's how you count pips okay now let's go to a metal so let's look at gold xau usd okay so you see how it says 1775.51 so let's say i go for a buy if it goes to 1775 Point sixty one. I'm up ten pips. If it goes to seventy seventy six point fifty one, that means I am up a hundred pips. So every penny is one pips, and every dollar is a hundred pips. That's how you calculate metals, and that's how you calculate SBX and futures as well because they're the same. Okay, so you see how SBX is forty three forty three oh eight point thirty three. Same thing. Every penny is one pip every dollar is a hundred pips that's why with these you have to put small and lot size it's usually because you're risking and making more at a quicker rate us 30 nasdaq 100 your 30 is the same thing when you go on funded accounts it'll be a little bit different so you see how gold is the same but if you look at us 30 or uh, us 500 which is spx 500 you can see how the bold numbers are to the left of the decimal instead of behind the decimal. So that's why it's very important to go in advance at all times. That way you know exactly how your broker is calculating pips. That way you're never over leveraging or not putting a big enough lot size as well. Okay, if you enjoyed that video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down any video suggestions or comments or questions you have below. And I'll see y'all in the next video.